Thomas Jefferson, The Art of Power, written by John Meacham, is a comprehensive biography that paints a portrait of the man who not only authored the Declaration of Independence and served as the third president of the United States, but also mastered the art of politics and governance in the early American Republic. Meacham delves deeply into the contradictions and complexities of Thomas Jefferson's character and life, exploring his philosophy, his achievements, and the means by which he sought and wielded power. Jefferson, born into a wealthy Virginia family in 1743, was raised in a world where aristocratic privilege was the norm. However, he developed a philosophy rooted in the Enlightenment ideals of liberty and self-governance. His early life, marked by extensive reading and education in Williamsburg, provided the intellectual grounding for his later ideas. He became a lawyer and entered local politics before serving as a delegate to the Second Continental Congress, which led to his drafting of the Declaration of Independence, a foundational moment for the new nation. The book goes on to describe Jefferson's diplomatic service in France after the Revolutionary War, where he honed his skills in international diplomacy and further developed his perceptions of power and government. Jefferson was influenced by his time in Europe, drawing inspiration from the French Enlightenment, but also recognizing the practicalities of power structures and the need for strong leadership to achieve one's goals. Jefferson's complex relationship with slavery is discussed at length in the book. Although he publicly espoused the evils of the institution, he was himself an enslaver who depended on slave labor at his Monticello estate. This hypocrisy is one of the central contradictions of Jefferson's life and is extensively analyzed by Meacham, who discusses the social and economic factors that entangled Jefferson in the system he criticized. Returning to the United States, Jefferson became the first Secretary of State under President George Washington, where he clashed with Alexander Hamilton over the direction of the young nation. Their ideological battles over the size and scope of federal government laid the groundwork for the American two-party political system. Jefferson favored states' rights and a more agrarian-focused economy, fearing that Hamilton's vision of a strong central government and commercial economy would betray the revolution's principles. As vice president under John Adams, Jefferson continued this battle, opposing the Alien and Sedition Acts and asserting the sovereignty of states in the Kentucky Resolutions. This period saw the sharpening of partisanship in American politics, with Jefferson becoming a leader of the fledgling Democratic-Republican Party. His presidential years, from 1801 to 1809, are a major focus of the book. Jefferson's tenure saw the United States nearly double in size with the Louisiana Purchase, an opportunistic and pragmatically executed move that stands as a testament to his vision for the expansion of American territory. Meacham illustrates how Jefferson's actions as president were often marked by a blend of idealism and practical politics. The book touches on Jefferson's personal life, including his relationships with his family, the death of his wife, Martha, and his alleged relationship with Sally Hemings, one of his enslaved women. Meacham doesn't shy away from examining these personal aspects of Jefferson's life, which influenced his temperament and leadership. Jefferson's role as a Renaissance man with interests ranging from architecture to agriculture, is also highlighted, demonstrating how his various passions informed his worldview. One of the key themes in Meacham's portrayal of Jefferson is his adeptness at preserving power while advancing his agenda. Jefferson's pragmatism, flexibility, and ability to communicate his vision convincingly were crucial to his effectiveness. He managed to navigate turbulent political waters through a mix of eloquence, intelligence, and strategic relationships, building coalitions and managing dissent. During his retirement, Jefferson remained intellectually active, founding the University of Virginia and continuing to correspond with current and future leaders. His intellectual mentorship of figures like James Madison and James Monroe underscored his lasting influence on American political thought even as new challenges and changing times tested the principles he had helped to enshrine. Meacham concludes the biography with reflections on Jefferson's legacy, acknowledging his protagonists' profound achievements and lasting influence on American democracy, 
while confronting the moral failings that have since cast shadows over his reputation. Ultimately, Thomas Jefferson, The Art of Power, is a nuanced study of a man who wielded power with a keen understanding of human nature, strategic intelligence, and a vision for the American experiment. Jefferson's approach to power was multifaceted, encompassing his roles as a politician, diplomat, philosopher, and visionary, a blend that has made him a subject of admiration and controversy throughout history. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.